what's up guys mr free corner coming back to you again today hope everybody is doing well and you're taking care of yourself now i do want to remind you i am not a financial advisor i'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions so please only take it as that guys swell has happened nothing big came out the price dumped we've been dumped on and dumped on and dumped on who's doing it well nobody really knows fact of the matter is the price is not doing anything now is there more adoption absolutely are there more customers well yes 300 uh plus customers okay more news more good news coming out more partnership all of this stuff happening more 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 but the price keeps going down okay um now in my last video, several people had some, you know, things to say. They didn't agree with my uh, talking about uh, these big guys taking profits. Look, uh, I'm going to tell you, if if you had a million dollars worth of XRP and, you know, obviously if you had a million dollars to put in it, you're not going to use, you know, if all you have is a million dollars, you're not going to use all million, uh, all of that million dollars to buy XRP obviously right so if you had enough to set aside a million dollars and a million dollars to buy xrp well what's going to happen when you see an increase in price most likely you're going to take some profit so you know uh hypothetically you have two million dollars in xrp the price goes remember guys the price dumped previously uh within the last was it uh 30 days it went down as far as 26 cents and even before that, I think it was at uh, 23 cents. Uh, what was it back in yeah, 23 cents? That was September uh, 24th. OK, so not that long ago, if a lot of people bought in at this level and then ended up taking profits around that 31 cent mark where, where, uh, where it hit that high right before we saw the huge dump, um, you know, that that's not. You know that's not surprising that's a significant percentage okay you can that's that's a decent amount of money on a hundred on a uh, i'm sorry on a million dollars worth of xrp that's roughly about two hundred thousand dollars if you were able to say buy in at 25 cents okay that's that's a, a very nice profit you're not going to get that anywhere in any market okay so if you don't agree with what i'm saying that's absolutely fine there is no uh, set anything in this, guys. You know, I, I, all I'm doing is going over the possible scenarios because obviously something is happening for the price to do what it's doing. OK, so arguing with me about uh, whether it's enough percentage or not, that's bull crap. You know, you can go somewhere else with that because people take profits on very small percentages. There are a lot of traders out there. There are a lot of I mean, a lot of people with a lot of money in this and they want to take their money you know take their take their profits out so hey argue with them about it all right this is something that this is you know basically uh trading 101 from what i understand you know you buy in you buy low sell high okay and if you have also if you have a kind of an inside track into what's going on well, then what you're going to take advantage of it. If you have someone, yes, there's insider trading. All right. There's insider information coming out. Most likely the, those of us who are here giving, doing these videos don't really have good insider information. People with the money are going to have insider information. Why do you think people get busted in the stock market continuously for insider trading? I mean, this stuff's all over the news, like regularly. It's because there's somebody that knows something, right? And they're, you know, not everybody gets caught all the time. Hell, if you had somebody coming to you, you and they told you, hey, uh, you might want to sell uh, XRP uh, here, you know, in the next couple of days because we're going to, you know, we, we may be hitting a high. What are you going to do? You know, if, if somebody told you, that it was going to hit a dollar and that's the highest it's going to go you might want to sell around 95 cents whatever 
you're going to take profits. You know, it, it happens in the stock market. It happens in other markets. Obviously, it's have it happening in the markets that's not fully regulated. Come on. So anyway, enough about that. Um, so uh, a couple scenarios that I was thinking about. Uh, one involves the uh, necessity. All right. So we look at these right here. It, it's necessary. We are necessary. The majority of us are going to be um, from a thousand, you know, well, this level, right? 300,000 to 400,000 XRP on down, right? Uh, in this, the way I calculated it was it's over 4 billion, almost 5 billion XRP here. Okay. If XRP hit um, roughly about a dollar, how many people, how much XRP do you think these accounts are going to sell? I mean, think about it. Most people, after two and a half years of nothing or two years of nothing, you think people are not going to take profits, if not sell out altogether? Just think of all the people right now that are totally pissed and want just one out. They just want, an, uh, want a doorway to get out. One dollar is a doorway to get out of XRP. OK, there are people selling right now, totally liquidating. 28 cents because they're they're pissed off. Do you, I mean, think about it. A dollar is going to see a lot of people. It's going to it's going to see a mass exodus out of XRP. Many of us won't sell. But I'm, I'm I mean, that, that just is a, it's it's just a no brainer. So anyway, that being said. I have a theory that the reason why they don't want the price go to go up, because What's the difference between 30 cents or 28 cents and just letting it get get up to a dollar? Right. Just let it go on up to a dollar. Let yeah, because people were going to are going to sell out. That's why. OK. Obviously, they could, you know, and now if I am correct. OK, let me kind of go back, take a step back. If I am correct in believing that the price of XRP should be much higher than it is right now. OK, to me, it should be. Just from what I'm seeing, the fact that um, it it just I mean, it's pretty obvious it's it's all artificial as, as far as the uh, the price drops, because, you know, what I see is that it's like XRP starts to take off and they have to cut it. They have to cut it at its knees to make the price come back down. All right. There's a lot of upward pressure, you know. On the price of XRP. Yes, there are institutions using it right now, and there are more individuals that are holding XRP than there ever was back in 2018. Nobody really knew about it. So how was it then that the price got to almost four dollars and now it's only it can't even hold above 30 cents? It makes no sense. OK, so. In my mind, the way I see it is they know if if it were to get to around a dollar, hell, I think even 75 cents, people would be selling like mad. You could easily lose half the accounts or half the amount of XRP here. Now, I guess you would ask, well, hey, if that happened, if you have two and a half billion XRP hit the market, why wouldn't they, they uh, buy it up? Well, personally, I think that two reasons: they don't want uh, XRP at that on the market at that price, right? There's still there may still be uh, more companies kind of getting in and buying at these low prices. It, you know, I think that's very likely uh, still happening because you know they want everything to be level, right? Maybe level playing field. But anyway, um, and uh, and like I said, also once it gets up there, you know, or well, rather, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, once they bought in at the, the prices that they that they have, um, you know, these different financial institutions are not looking to buy anymore. OK, so where is all this uh, XRP going to go? Who's going to actually uh, uh, have it? Right. Yes, I, I totally agree that the volume is not really there yet uh, to make a usage of all 50 billion XRP that's currently on the on the uh, on the market, you know, because I think that's 
uh, roughly about what's out there. No, that's that's uh, actually I'll take that. Yeah. In in accounts. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. I'm sorry. So this says in accounts excluding escrow. So what's actually on the market or in circulation, I, I should say, is just over 50 billion uh, XRP. Right. So in that case, um, the XRP that's in escrow right now, I mean, when you start to really look at it, you know, I don't know, I, I start to kind of it's start to kind of work out a few things here. Now, again, I could be totally wrong, guys. I, I, I'm i not, this isn't my field as far as finances, uh, but I, I can definitely freaking count, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and also, uh, you know, I look at things and I, you know, I just look at the common sense of it, right? Uh, much of what I have seen and much of what I've said is has actually happened. You can go back and look at my videos. The things that I've said, there are people now starting to say some of the things I said a year ago. Okay. You know, if you want to go, go back and look. Um, so anyway, um, I, like I said, I, I, I don't believe they want us to take off. That's the reason why the price isn't going up, isn't really going anywhere. Because I, I can tell you right now, I know a couple people right off the top of my head that would definitely um, sell 10 or 15,000, maybe 20,000 of their uh, XRP if it hit a dollar. I mean, immediately gone, boom, that's it. Because they want to take their, uh, you know, take some profit out. Okay. I mean, and if you take, you know, even a, a, a say um, a quarter or a third of the of 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 the people in this group um, doing that, that would be a significant amount of XRP going back on the market. And what's going to happen? The price is going to crash. Okay, this is how they control the price anyway. They sell. These are sales that happen to make the price uh, come down. And like I said. A couple billion XRP hitting the market would definitely take the legs off out of the price. They can't afford that right now. Okay, so keeping it at 31 cents makes it manageable. Okay, we don't know what else is going on in the background either. Uh, but I'm saying that, you know, as far as the price goes, I don't think we're going to see anything just yet. There's something that they are waiting on. You know, I can speculate all day about that, but from what I can see, there's something that they're waiting on uh, before they allow this price to take off. Now, could we see a uh, a slight pump to where um, they it allows? You know, once I think, okay, let me take a step back. I think once the volume starts to really ramp up, we know that they're they announced more corridors. Okay, we we have um, uh, different countries that are definitely creating their own digital currency we do know that you know from what i've heard different countries are going to have their digital currency for their country and xrp is essentially going to uh, be the middleman for all of that not to mention uh, payments and all the other things that that uh, xrp could be used for right so uh, all in all um that you know what i'm saying i believe could be a viable uh um a scenario or a, or a theory um, also if you want to look at it kind of more in a positive light to where you know ripple cares about us or whoever is out here they really care about those of us holding xrp and uh, you know and i just have to throw this out there but um you know they're keeping the price down to keep the majority of majority of us from selling so when they really take the lid off, it just shoots up and we're able to, you know, kind of really take uh, uh, some good profits at much higher dollar amounts. Now, that's definitely a pie in the sky type of scenario. But, you know, got to throw it out there um, if you just want to kind of look at it like the powers that be care about us, which eh, definitely wouldn't follow that uh, way of thinking. I think it's more you know, that they don't care either way. The fact is they're trying to um, make sure that they have 
um, what they need to accomplish their goal. This, and when I say they, I'm talking about Ripple. Um, and, you know, keeping the price where it is. And I, I guys, I think it very po it's very possible that Ripple could, could very well be the ones controlling the price. Now, this has been suggested many times, especially by uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Valentino and a few other people. And um, hey, you know, it's it, I'm going to tell you this. It's not through a centralized. OK, not through a centralized means. It's something that's being that's being done. If it is being done, it's something that's being done in a way that anybody could do it. If you have enough money, if you have enough. Uh, if you have enough of the XRP, then yes. Now, Ripple themselves, again, I don't believe it's necessarily them using their wallets to do it. I believe it's the, you know, different exchanges out there that they are using that have, that they have, uh, you know, uh, transferred XRP to, whether they bought it or whatever. Uh, these are the ones that are going to provide the liquidity and all of that. Now, also, they are the ones that if they are being told possibly again, this is all theories, guys, you know, but um, if if Ripple's telling them, hey, I need you to, you know, sell this or, you know, if, if someone has control to where they can go in and and do the sales on these different exchanges to uh, control the price. I, I don't know. OK, I don't know. And again, it could just be that, you know, hey, <laughs> the, the 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 volume is not there. And this is just organic. Uh, I don't believe any of you would actually believe that. This is just, I mean, you, you're looking at this price, these dumps here. Uh, here we go to take off and then it just dumps all the way back down here. Now it comes back and then dumps. Uh, no, it's just not, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, and again, it's, it, you know, from 31 cents uh, down to 27 cents, you know, that's, that's, it's not a lot as far as, uh, monetarily, but considering what's happening, that is a huge amount. Okay, like I sh like I showed you before, uh, four cents. Okay, from thirty-one cents down to twenty-seven cents, four cents. When you're talking about large numbers of XRP, is a decent amount of money. It's a lot of money. Okay. Like I said, what, $50 million in XRP, yeah, that would be roughly about um, $5 million made, okay? And it doesn't necessarily even have to be that there are people here taking profits. And this, is, this could very well just be, uh, uh, you know, it, it could be a situation where it's being done to make sure the price stays in a specific range, okay? Um, now... Again, guys, I'm just going to say it again. These are my thoughts and opinions, just my theories that, you know, things that I have thought about as to why it's happening, you know, how it could be happening, all of that. We all, I mean, hey, if you have a different view on it, that's absolutely fine. This is mine, okay? If you have a, a, a you know, a, an opinion about it, if you, think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, you agree, you disagree, hey, let me know that in the uh, in the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, but again, let's just make sure we do it. It's, it's no need to do uh, disagree in an unsavory manner, okay? Because we're all adults, as I've mentioned before, and we can get our points across without being, you know, just being stupid, okay? So... All right, uh, just a couple things. Other than that, Deutsche Bank uh, collapse, rebuttal, sets off Twitter storm. So, you know, obviously we have some things going on in the traditional markets and the banking and all of this. You know, we could be looking at some type of reset, uh, uh, you know, a dollar crash, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now. And all of this uh, could very well uh, affect the price of crypto. Uh, and again, also everything that I'm saying, guys, this affects the entire market. There, there isn't, you know, I'm not, when I talk about XRP, yeah, I'm talking, yeah, I'm specifically talking about XRP guys, but the whole market is obviously being uh, affected by whatever's going on. Okay. 
you know, you can look back and you see, like I said before, uh, it's been said that, uh, ex the, you know, they would tame Bitcoin. Um, the Trump administration has admitted to manipulating the price. We know it has happened. OK, we know it has happened. Uh, so I'm just stating things within the realm of possibilities. And, you know, like I said, definitely my opinions. OK, so that's really it. I mean, we are 20, 20 minutes already, guys. Really appreciate you uh, joining me. I hope this uh, kind of, you know, is it, at the very least entertaining, entertaining because that's what this is about. It's a, it's about entertainment. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not here to try to uh, pretend that I'm some um, financial guru by any means, guys. You know that. Uh, none of us are. Anybody out here making videos don't know a damn thing. If you're here, you're here for the entertainment because everybody, everybody, everybody has been wrong on multiple occasions very much more often than not. OK, so again, we don't know. Everybody's guessing. The number one thing you need to make sure of is that you have your mind made up. Are you going to stay in this until you see something happen, until you get to where you want to be? All the things that happen in our lives, guys, all the things that happen in our lives. If it's worth the time, if it's something that's big, something that's good, it is going to be difficult to achieve it. Nothing comes easy. You all know that. So if you've decided that you're going to stay in this, don't blame anyone else for your decision. I don't care if somebody gets on here saying that XRP is going to moon tomorrow. It's going to $100,000 tomorrow. If you decide to stay and you decide to believe that, then that's on you. Your decisions, your money. Nobody can tell you what to do with your money. You decide. If you decide to put your money, uh, send someone your money because they said they're going to send you 10,000% back. That's on you. You are you have to remember you're the custodian of your financials of your life. You're the one that controls it. No one else. So take responsibility for what you do. And understand that we're all guessing. All right, guys, again, thank you very much for joining me. If you make sure. You hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button so you know when I have posted again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless. You.